I'm hey, sorry. you know what? Get the hell out of here if you don't like this kind of preaching. What? Then get the hell out of my church. I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. You know, I don't believe in a young earth. And then the big dumb animal, Keith Gomez, just sits there and listens to him preach this. Steven Anderson further proving himself to be the embodiment and epitome of hypocrisy and contradiction. In this particular clip, or the, or the compilation of clips, I'll put it that way, he is contradicting himself on his stance on the atheist heresy of evolution. As a, as a former atheist myself, I kind of um, took special note to that because evolution is just that, an atheist heresy. And Anderson will give lip service to opposing the atheist heresy of evolution, but really, this is just another example of this new IFB cult slipping in to atheist false science. Plain and simple. So, check this out from the new IFB cult leader, Stephen Anderson. Hey, that apparent age is across the board. Now you say, well, Pastor Anderson, what about all the evidence, the, the carbon dating, the, the radioactive isotopes? What about the fossils? Now here's the thing, you know, people talk about evidence for a young earth and, and, you know, Matt and I probably disagree on this a little bit. You know, I don't believe in a young earth. Now you say, well, Pastor Anderson, what about all the evidence, the, the carbon dating? So when the geologist looks at mountains and rocks, and said, oh, this would take millions of years. Or God just put a mountain there. That looks like it's been there for millions of years. Now, here's the thing. You know, people talk about evidence for a young earth. That looks like it's been there for millions of years. You can open your Bible and look to uh, James 1.8 where it says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. That's Stephen Anderson in a nutshell. James 1.8 exposes Stephen Anderson and his, all the, little, the new IFB call all the little puppet pastors who are just simply clones of Stephen Anderson. That's the truth of the matter. And this is not the only area where Anderson has outright contradicted himself. Because the problem is, is that God did not make Stephen Anderson. His YouTube videos and internet stunts made Stephen Anderson and the new IFB cult. See, the only power they have is not from God, it's from the electricity powering their internet routers, keyboards, and computers. So that's just another example of the fallible Pope Stephen Anderson. Essentially, you know, he'll so he'll kind of claim that he'll give lip service to not being, you know, to, to not being infallible. But you look at just how he rages and rants and how if you dare question him, you're kicked out, you're thrown out. Yeah, it's a cult. And just another example of the man-centered, man-founded new IFB cult leader contradicting himself. So anyway, don't be deceived by the new IFB cult led by Pope Stephen Anderson. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.